What's going on guys? I'm coming to you today with the Hammerhead Corvettes Expansion Pack for Armada. Wow, an expansion with two ships in the same pack. I just think this is just a great idea. I am, I'm so glad that they're doing this and I hope they do more of these in the future uh, because I'm the type of person that wants to buy everything in, in, in many multiples. Like, I'm probably already going to buy at least two of these sets. Maybe a third, I don't know. But we're going to have to see. Uh, and they are so nice. I'm going to pull out all this stuff. Alright. Oh my gosh. It's going to box up. Oh my goodness, I can't. There it goes. I don't want everything to go flying. Alright. Uh, let me get out of the way. Alright. Now that we're all thrashing around and knocking stuff across the place. Let's get these things open. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, they are, these are really shaded very well. Some great detailing on these. Wow. Look at that. That's really nice. yellow yellow exhaust in the back that's weird all right that's one let's look at the other one let's just make sure they're the same because they only ever had one on display at celebrate yeah they're exactly the same all right let's find the rest of the stuff so we can be like all right let's put you on your stands so in true fashion we get two of everything else. Man, I'm so happy to finally have this stuff in hand. These, oh man, this is going to be so many great games. You know one of the coolest parts about having a new expansion in hand for Armada? <laughs> one of the coolest parts is that means that the next wave is due to be announced one of these days. I think it'll, it'll be Gen Con, which is in about a month, so that's cool. Oh man, can't wait to see what's in store for Wave 7. I kind of hope it's not just another two ship wave, but I could potentially be okay with that as well. You know, I just hope it's something exciting. I'm pretty sure the MC-75 will be there. But what else? What's the Empire? What is the Empire going to get? Oh, that's so exciting. All right. So we got a big box of cardboard here. We got all these cards. I'm going to set the cards down. But we're going to pull out the cardboard first. All right. So, oh, so we have two ship cards on here. Lots of that stuff. We got numbers 20 and 21. I'll pull those out right now. Pretty, pretty narrow, pretty well defended rear arc on these ships. It'll be, it won't be easy to get rear shots on them. The line cuts across pretty, pretty sharply. The uh, front arcs are pretty big, and this should be a decent little ship. I, I don't know, the cost is at just the right spot, though, to make me still want to fly the CR-90 sometimes, you know? So, I I love it. So there's our two Hammerhead Scout Corvette cards. We got the Turbo Laser slot. We got any Vades. We can put TRC on these guys. We can put Gunnery Team on them. Look at that. We could Gunnery Team them. We could put an Enhanced Armament in Gunnery Team. That would be something. Could you imagine? Woo! So many cool things, right? And then... The Hammerhead Torpedo Frigate. I mean, I don't know why I'm showing you both cards. It comes with two. Yeah, let's just look at the one. We got, we got the Black Anti-Squadron die there instead. We got the, uh, oh, we got Ordnance instead there. Fairly maneuverable. 36 points. It's so cheap. Woo. All right, let's look at our cards. We got Leia. Oh, Leia Organa. Oh, my gosh. I'm dropping everything. So Leia is, the, she's just, she's pretty cool. She's awfully expensive. Awfully expensive at 38 points, but she's got some great uses. When a friendly ship resolves a command by spending a command dial, if it has not revealed another command this round, it may resolve that command as if it spent a matching command token. If it does, the ship cannot resolve additional commands this round. So basically, she's almost like Ramus Antilles for your whole fleet. Very cool. You just have the restriction. You can't try to double up and you can't cheat her system. You have to be true to Princess Leia and she'll be true to you. Hondo Onaka and Boo the Space Hamster. All right. At the start of the ship phase, you may discard this card to choose two different command tokens and place them on your on two different ships. Then, uh, then your opponent 
chooses two different command tokens, you did, and you did not, and places them on two different ships. So it, it, this is just a funny card. Like, I don't think this is going to be that great, but you know, the, the, the interesting thing is he's not rebel only, so he can, you can use him with the Empire. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Cham Sindula, or Sindula, or Sindula. And he's kind of like one of your boarding parties there. He's going to use both the uh, weapons team and the offensive retrofit. Five points. When you reveal a command, you may discard the a squadron dial or token and discard and choose one enemy ship at close range. If you do, you may choose a new command for each command dial assigned to that ship. <clears throat> it's going to be nuts, especially on, I guess, a Star Destroyer. Oh, you just get to do you know, squadrons every turn. Which, I guess an ISD isn't all that necessarily bad, but if, if they don't have squadrons nearby, then maybe. Boarding Engineer is another type of boarding party with a duel that requires both of these. Only costs two points. When you reveal a command, you may discard a squadron dial or token and this card to choose one enemy ship at close range. Look at its face down damage cards and flip a number of them face up to your engineering value one at a time. Whew. It's nasty. Oh, we got two copies of that. <gasps> two copies of quad battery turrets. Oh, I'm so happy. I have three of these now. Three quad battery turrets. That's gorgeous. When attacking a ship you, with a higher speed than yours, you may add one blue die to your attack pool. It's not really the best card for one of these guys because they tend to want to go a little bit faster, but really good for a whole lot of other ships. External Racks, this is a really good one. When attacking at close range, you may discard this card to add two black dice to your attack pool. This is really, really good for the Torpedo Corvettes because they're going to die anyway. And you get two copies of that. You're getting two copies of all the regular stuff. Oh, all right. Now our titles. So, Geralt's Honor. Or is it Jarell? If it was Jarell, that would make it Superman, wouldn't it? All right. Uh, it spelled differently, though. Yes. Oh, so when you overlap, uh, here we go. When you overlap an enemy ship, the enemy ship suffers a face-up damage card instead of a face-down damage card. That's so cool. I'm glad it's unique. Otherwise, you'd see a lot of ramming. I don't mind a little bit of ramming, but I don't want ramming to be your main strategy. It seems to make the game less enjoyable. Test Force Antilles. We get two of these, and this is a non-unique title, so you can have multiples. When you suffer damage from an attack, you may choose and exhaust a copy of this card on another friendly ship at distance 1 through 3. If you do, that ship, or ship suffers one of your damage instead. While this card is exhausted, you cannot spend engineering points. Wait for you to spread out damage, and we get two of those. And then the offensive version, Task Force Argana. When attacking, you may choose and exhaust a copy of this card on an, another friendly ship at distance 1 to 3 to re-roll up to 2 attack dice. While this card is exhausted, you cannot attack ships. So you have to be very careful on how you play that one. Make sure you've already attacked <laughs> from the ship that you're going to exhaust that one from. Or maybe it didn't have a shot anyway, or maybe it's just worth it. Maybe it is just worth it. So, wow, these guys are so cool and so happy. So happy to have them. And how many, I want to know from you guys, how many of these are you guys going to get? Whoa, sorry about that. How many of these are you guys going to get? I am hoping that they do well. I'm hoping they stay in stock long enough for me to get at least another box, maybe two more boxes. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to be painting some of these too. And the thing is, like, I like to just paint just the orange and maybe the yellow, like kind of keep it subtle and keep it like how it might appear at Star Wars Rebels where there were like maybe some red and some blue or something like that or I don't know. Um, but yes, I love it. I love them. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Click the little bell for alerts so you can find out when I'm announcing winners for giveaways. And uh, stay tuned because I have some giveaways coming up next week. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, so keep on watching. Stay tuned. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, all of that great stuff. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day.